Here's the graph that shows the average number of life sexual partners that a category has. So we have four types of people here. We have the non-college woman represented in green, college woman in pink, non-college men in blue, and college men in yellow. And on the y-axis, that's the average life sex partners that they've had. Um, so overall, between men and women, um, men tends to claim that they have more sexual partners and women claims that they have less. The gap here is probably because someone is lying or men are using prostitutes. I'm not sure. Before 1930s, college men does have more lifetime sexual partners than non-college men. But after that, it the reverse is true. Whereas women, that number stays pretty consistently between both non-college and college women, um, other than from 1930s to 1960s, maybe there's a liberation or feminism movement that went on here, or maybe women were able to go to very male-dominated schools. And so the spike for sexual partners for uh, college women went up almost twice as much as um, non-college women. But after that, it seems to plateau out and they're pretty much the same. But what's interesting is college men now have significantly less sexual partners than non-college men. Maybe we are choosing a more monogamous marriage style and maybe marriage is not as much of a viable option since it's quite expensive for non-college men, assuming they don't make as much money. But this is all speculation. Let me know what you think.